Okay, so let's move on. Um, you've uh, connected your unit, you've got it powered up correctly, and you've uh, connected it either via a, a Cat5 crossover cable or you've got it connected to your uh, network. The next thing that you'll want to do is actually access the web interface of your Security Probe 5e. Uh, now the unit itself actually ships with a default IP address of 192.168.0.1. Uh, in this case, uh, the IP address of my unit is 10.1.5.206. Um, now, this will bring you to this page, which is the login page. As a default, um, the password is set to public and you'll need to log in as administrator. So we'll just type in my password there and hit enter. Okay, and this brings you to the summary page of the uh, web interface. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit about the uh, summary page. Uh, on the left hand side here you have a panel of options, summary settings, layout settings, camera settings, sensor filters and syslog filters. Um, now depending on uh, which one of these areas you click on it will display various um, options in terms of how you would like to display your summary page. Um, so for example at the moment you can see that uh, I have a camera connected so I can click on camera 4 and it would display a camera. I can go into the camera settings uh, you see all the different settings of the camera settings there. Sensor filters uh, all my different options and finally syslog filters and you can see that the uh, system log uh, is uh, just here and um, right above it you have the um, sensor information. One thing that I would just like to show you which is a brand new feature of the web interface is if you click and hold down on any of the blue bar you can actually drag them around now within the web interface and you can customize the um, summary page exactly how you would like it and it can display the information that you want to show. So for the first time we've got a 100% completely customizable um, web interface and summary page. Now what I'd also uh, like to just very briefly show you is uh, just going to the uh, settings tab here. Once you go into the settings tab this is the page that you'll come to. Now, we, as you can see, we're on the general uh, page at the moment, and this will actually display our system description, uh, the name of our system, system location, system contact. Uh, so you can actually uh, change these and enter your own personal details of what you'd like to call your system and your location. Um, you can also have the uh, sensor notification on uh, when system boot up. Uh, you can have the graph data display logo on or off. And here's also where you can actually change the language. Uh, so you can change it from English, Chinese, Dutch, French, German or any of the others that you see on the list here. Um, once you've made any alterations you can go ahead and you can click save. Now um, also I'm just going to quickly show you the uh, system administrator. Uh, if you go into uh, the system administrator you'll see it has a little plus arrow. By cl clicking that we uh, get some options. Um, now let's first of all have a look at the change password. Okay, now the uh, changing the password will actually be uh, covered in another tutorial, but essentially this is the page uh, that it brings you to if you want to change your password. As I said, the password is actually uh, public as a default, and you might want to change that just to increase your security. Uh, you also have system maintenance. Okay, now this is the page again that you will come to, uh, where if you want to check to see if there's any latest firmware, you can check for the update uh, and upgrade and you also have here uh, options to restore factory settings and original settings. Uh, you can also choose whether to keep your present network settings or not. And then finally we have these services and security. Which brings you to the services and security page uh, with a whole host of options here. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm very quickly just skipping over this just so it gives you a rough idea of how the web interface is laid out. But um, once you've gone to the summary page, you've logged in, uh, you've uh, changed your password, and you've got a nice secure web interface, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. I'll see you there.